Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Stonehearts Alpha 24. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back with the kingdom of Yonkers where I think it's fair to say things are going pretty well. We have ourselves a little street just there, which I absolutely adore. I, I still love it. Currently building another house down here. Uh, we've got this one going up. We have also built these two over here. And last time we also built these two buildings as well, which uh, none of which have been furnished. None of them have any furniture. We're also, I think, going to take another hearthling to bring us up to 17. We have Peyton Quest, who has a pretty decent body stat. Actually, fives all around there, so that's not bad at all. Uh, we could potentially get Peyton in there as another fighter. Peyton actually is... Gregarious, Gregarious, whatever. Loves discussing the day's events with others and gets a bit lonely when they don't. Okay. Let's have you be a fighter. I think getting another footman on the go is going to be a pretty good idea. That'll give us five people total in red team there, which I think that's good. And immediately he's discussing things. Okay. I mean, fair enough. It's, it's what he likes doing, so I can't really complain. Uh, what I do want to have a look at, though, is I want to see where the carpenter is. So the carpenter is still working tirelessly on those uh, on those picket fences. So we're going to have to wait for those to get done. We could, by all means, start placing some of them down because we do have a bunch of them available. So, I mean... Uh, I, I guess we could do that. I guess we could start placing some picket fences down and see how this works out. See if we can maybe make a nice farm area of, of some sort. Because this is what they were for. You know, we did, we did want these picket fences for this exact purpose. So I guess we can go ahead and start placing a bunch of them down to at least wall off part of the farm. In case the goblins happen to come back, which they said they were thinking about, I guess. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we still have 17 left. So what I'll do is rotate them that way. And we'll go ahead and start placing them this way as well. Just to uh, nicely enclose that bit of space. If you guys could move, that would be great. You're kind of in the way of progress. Thank you. That's uh, very kind of you to get out of my way there. Then we'll go ahead and just bring these all the way along to about there. And I think that works. You know, it gives us a nice, uh, nice enclosed area. So there we go. We have the fences going in. We have the corners nicely set up. These guys are going to have to navigate around the fences at some point. Uh, we could probably go ahead and do similar over here as well, which I think we will do. We'll just get the fences along here to, uh, you know... Just have this nicely enclosed, and I guess we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the top part open for the time being until we figure out what exactly we're going to be doing with the gates, because we don't actually have oh we well we have these gates we have the cobblestone gates, so I guess we could do something with that, possibly, but I don't know if I want to. I kind of want the picket fence gates anyway. Let's see here. Do we have anything to sell? I. Don't believe we do. We have some bird baths. We could sell those, but I like the idea of actually placing those somewhere. So I don't know if we will do that. I am thinking though. Hold on, I'm hearing I'm hearing a bad guy. I'm hearing something. I definitely heard I heard like some gurgling or something that sounded like a bad guy. But I have no idea where it could have been. So we're gonna ignore that for a second because I do want to go ahead and just place this uh, cobblestone gate like here, I think. I think it could look really nice. We could maybe bring these walls off this building a little bit. Although, of course, it doesn't connect properly, which is a little bit frustrating. So we could do that. No, we can't do that either. What about this? Does this connect to the building? No. All right, we're not going to be doing that then. That's perfectly fine, I suppose. Uh, You know what? We'll just get those fences in. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll get those fences in. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's what I'm hearing up here. Interesting. Okay, well, let's head that off a little bit before those kobolds get too close to us. So go out there and attack. And let's deal with those before they try to deal with us. 
So we'll get those guys murdered nice and quickly, hopefully. Let's focus on this one. Because if we don't start focusing on individual enemies, they are going to wreck us completely. So there we go. That one's dead. Let's focus on this one next. And then we'll focus on uh, this one right here. So let's just focus you. Then there's this little guy out here who seems to be uh, causing some trouble as well. So go deal with him. We'll get that one in a minute. He's on low health anyway. Be great if he'd stop running away. There we go. And then finish off the kobold. There we go. Job done. Not bad at all. Uh, do we still have the wood needed to finish this construction? Because I can't help but notice we don't seem to be constructing it currently. Oh, we totally do. It's just really far away. Okay, well, in that case, let's go ahead and just give a couple of orders to harvest a few more trees, because I think we are going to need them. So we'll start pulling out some trees from uh, these different areas. We actually have more bushes up there as well, which is lovely. Uh, we'll grab some trees from here. We'll cut sort of a pathway through there as well. Invaders approaching from up there. All right. We need alert mode. And we need the fighters to go up there. So they're going to run away, and the fighters are going to deal with uh, with everything here. We can turn off alert mode again anyway. going to be perfectly fine. And job done. All right. So you guys can all sit around. You can do your thing, have some food and whatever you need to do. Uh, we have the food and net worth for an 18th hearthling. I think we're going to turn that down for the time being, though. Uh, because we do have a lot of work to do. And it is taking its time. It's not really getting done, so. We're just going to wait. We're just going to hold out. We're just going to wait. And uh, we'll get that 18th hearthling eventually. Because like I said, the carpenter, carpenter has so much to do. Uh, probably need to get some extra storage around here as well, but the issue with that is where do we put it? I guess we could bring it sort of along the front of the house a little bit. So something kind of like that. Then maybe a little bit of storage down the side. I think that could work. And then if we can, it would be good to get some storage along the back as well. I'm just not entirely sure we can do that. But I, I think I'll try at least. So if we just sort of... If we sort of swing the camera around a little bit, we should be able to do... Uh, that, 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 that. Getting one back there is slightly tricky, but I think we can do it as well. So yeah, that right there will hopefully be good. It looks like we can access it. We also have a simple merchant with more stuff. We could get upgraded worker outfits. I'm kind of thinking we want the padded vest, though, so we'll buy that. And in terms of selling things, I mean... Again, there's not much, so we're not going to stress too much there. Although I do really want to get that bird bath in at some point. But, you know, we'll, we'll get that eventually. Uh, the big priority right now is just getting the... Getting the carpenter to do all the stuff they need to do. I think the issue is that the carpenter has to go so... Well, actually, you know what? It looks like the carpenter doesn't have to go that far to get resources. Well, yeah, it's just a building next door, so... Hopefully that'll be done soon. Hopefully the carpenter's build queue will be done soon. There's only... Yeah, we're actually on the, the gates at this point, which is great news. So very, very soon we're going to be able to start furnishing all of the, the new buildings that we've put in. And we can actually start putting the gates on the fences over here as well. So let's go ahead and just undeploy that one and undeploy that one. So we'll get those out of there. Because what we can do, a goblin with a fancy hat's back. You want oak logs, an oak tree seed, eight carpenter workbenches, and a potter's cutter. Sure, we can do that. We have the cutter, we don't have the workbenches, so... Carpenter, can you just make me a bunch of workbenches? We'll make, uh, I think we have, we'll just do eight of them. So craft those up for me. We'll move them to the top of the queue. And hopefully we can stop the goblins from trying to fight. I'm not too worried about them because we have dealt with them already. So it's not that big of a deal. It would just be nice to not have to worry about the goblins again. 
Uh, now let's see here. Does this fit? It absolutely does. Look at that. So get that gate in there. And we can nicely enclose the farms with a little gate there. And you know what? We can even go ahead and we can start blocking off this end of the farms as well. So I think we have enough to do it. Let's go ahead and just go the whole way along here. Blocking off that entire end of the farm. So there's only one way in, one way out. We can get a gate on the other end eventually, of course. But right now, we're just going just gonna to do things this way. So all the way up to there. And then grab this. And we want to just keep on going. Until it meets the corner of the other fence, which is just there. So just down to there. And that's absolutely perfect. That's lovely. Look at that. We have a proper little farm going. Obviously, probably going to need to expand it at some point, but I'm really happy with that. I am really, really happy with that. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. We could totally get more gates on. We could absolutely get more gates on there. But I just don't think we need to. Daily updates in... Uh, we'll decline. We'll continue to decline for the time being. I don't think there's any reason not to decline. Just, again, we don't have the beds. The carpenters are super busy with the workbenches. And there, there's a lot to be done. There is... There is a lot to be done. Wait, the workbenches are done? Or did they not move? It's possible the workbenches didn't move. No, I think the workbenches are done. Alright, so the carpenter has pretty much given us a spot here where we're not going to have to worry about those goblins. Which I'm very happy about. Uh, a trader approaches 17 wooden doors for an iron helm. I want it, but I'm going to have to decline. We're going to have to decline. We don't really have much of a choice. I'm also curious about why those two bits of fence aren't going in. That's a bit weird. I don't really want people going through there. Also, whoa, hold up, hold up. I hear something. I hear something. Aha! Right. Warriors, I need you to go and murder. Nice and quickly, if you wouldn't mind. There we go. So we should be able to wreck that thing. No problem at all. We actually have a little bit of gold sitting out there. Which is nice. Got some meat off of that, too. Can we get those fences in there, please? Like if, I, if I cancel those two... And we go to place objects and say, put down maybe some of the the really high quality ones there. Do that instead. There we go. So those are going in. And that one's going in as well. So this is now completely enclosed, which is beautiful. What I'm thinking we do, though, is maybe just put a gate at this end as well, just for the sake of the warriors getting through. So we'll pick those up. And then we can put this nice fancy fence gate just there instead. If someone wants to come and grab that fence for me, there we go. So just do that. And I think that'll look really good. I mean, I think I, I think it does look really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, this still isn't getting worked on, unfortunately. I'm not sure why that building isn't getting constructed, but I don't think we need to stress about it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, we still have these... Oh, hello. So, we can give this guy everything he wants. There you go, bud. So, he'll be happy. Happy enough, at least. And, I mean, the bird baths. Where can we put these? Uh, we could get one in this corner. I think that'll be nice. We could get one in this corner as well. And that corner. And I think we'll do the same up over here as well. So just there. And then that looks all right. Got a couple of bird baths in there. Make the place look all nice. Uh, have I paused construction on this? Is, is that maybe what's going on? Pause building. No. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. I'm not sure why it's not being built, but it's not being built. So I guess we're just going to have to... Uh, just going to have to wait and see what happens. Uh, now, what I would like to do eventually is go ahead and get the carpenter to make me some beds so that the cook can actually sleep in the cook's building there. But obviously, we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. We have to get a lot of the lights on these buildings as well because that hasn't even been done yet. 
There's so much for these buildings that's still yet to be done, so... We are going to be waiting a bit, at least. We are going to be waiting a little bit. But look at this farm, man. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy with that. I also really want to move the... Um, I want to move uh, food storage into the cook's building as well. So carpenter... That wasn't the carpenter. That's the mason. But the mason could work. Let's maybe get you to make me some stone chests or some... I don't know. Freshly crafted item storage could work. Uh, let's accept number 18 there. We've got Leafy Bell Tower. Go ahead and make me, like, two of those and make me, I don't know, five stone chests. That should be enough. That should be more than enough, actually. So we'll get that done. We get Carpenter level six. Not bad. Uh, Leafy Bell Tower, what are you good at? You are a featherweight and you're callous, but if we look at your sheet, good mind stats, so you could absolutely be a crafter at some point. We'll keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. Someone else just leveled up. What did, what did Peyton just level up to? I have no idea. Good. Oh, we need to look at the hearth upgrade. So we have the quality items. We haven't got the gold via trade. We haven't sold enough via trade or spent enough via trade. And we don't have enough gold on hand, so... We're gonna be waiting just a little bit longer for all of that, unfortunately, but... Well, that's just the way of it. That is just the way of it. Cook level 4 has been achieved. Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these items then and see what we can do. So we have got the finished work shelves. Which I'm thinking could go... Say there and there. And then we could get a few of these, we can get a few of these boxes sort of in the middle of the floor. So say, I don't know, one, two, uh, three of those. And then what we can do is say that these are not for all resources. They are just for cooked food. So that's not going to be for all resources. It is just for cooked food. Then these are going to be exactly the same as well. So nothing. And then cooked. Then nothing. And cooked. And nothing. Cooked. So all of our food is going to be inside that building. Which I think would be really good. I think that's exactly where it should be. In fact, what we could even do is say that one of these chests can actually have uh, raw food in there. And uh, maybe this middle one. Actually, you know what? This one doesn't... That one's just going to be raw food. And then this one's going to be uh, cooking ingredients and animal feed. So that right there gives us some space for all of our food. Which I think at this point, we can then go ahead and say this stockpile gets removed. And all of that food is going to get moved into the cook's building. And maybe, maybe the cook isn't going to live in there. Maybe we can change things up a little bit and say the cook doesn't live in there. Although we could, we could just do a bed. I mean, we, we could, you know what? The cook's going to live there. We're going to get a bed in there. They're going to live there. That's just the way it's going to be. I think it makes sense. We do need lights in there as well. There's, there's a few things we still need. Uh, but we have some more room for storage. We have got a couple of little boxes in here. So let's say those boxes are going to be food and drink as well. So that's all that's going to be in here. I'm not going to micromanage those little boxes too much, though. Since they are so small. So there we go. Everything's set for storage in there. All of our food is being moved across, which is excellent. Uh, we have got a bunch of new beds going in as well, so... Do we want to bring in Hearthling number 19? I don't think we do. I don't think we want to do it just yet. I think we'll hold off. Rugged Survivalist is coming by with their wares. I mean, I don't know if we need anything there either. We could make some stone benches uh, specifically for selling. Those are pretty profitable. So what if we go to our Mason and say, why don't you make me a bunch of stone benches? What do we need for them? It's, it is just one. It's one bit of stone. So make me like, I don't know, 
Make me 50 of them. Make me 50 stone benches. And I will sell all of them for ridiculous profits. Uh, why is this not getting mined? So resume the mining there. Unless the ladder is too far away. It could be. The ladder could be too far away. Uh, actually, you know what? They can't get up to the top of it. That's probably what's going on there. So we'll build a couple of ladders there just to let them get to uh, where they need to go. And hopefully, there we go, that's going to just uh, continue the mining job there. Which means this guy is now pretty much stuck. So we'll let him mine until... We'll let him mine until he's done, I guess. So lift that ladder up for me, somebody. Then you guys can just finish digging all that out. Which will be absolutely beautiful. Now, as for other things that we need to do, I mean... We have a lot of beds. We have invaders approaching as well. We got a giant wolf. Let's turn on alert mode for that to try and get those guys out of the pit. I don't think they're going to get out of the pit, though. Oh, they can get out of the pit. Okay. So let's go for the wolf. Turn off alert mode. They can go back to work. And then the wolf can uh, totally get wrecked. Which is beautiful. All right. So back to what I was talking about. What do we urgently need to do at the moment i think i think money is is one big deal i am definitely feeling that money is kind of one big deal that we need to figure out um we do still have plenty of storage space left in here which is good i was a little concerned that we might not have had that there but we do have the storage space you guys are coming along nicely what do you want 72 oak logs we're gonna fight we're we're gonna fight i'm not i'm not giving you know all of my resources to these goblins here we kind of need them uh so red team i mean the goblins are gonna have to go through those zombies for one which will be interesting to say the least but let's have red team come along over that way and uh be ready to fight the goblin thieves that apparently want to invade so there we go. Goblin thieves getting totally messed up. We could probably go over and just kill the zombies as well. Since that will get us a little bit of loot. There's two big chests there, so... Definitely thinking this is an idea. Let's focus on, uh, let's focus on that zombie with a lot of health. And then... Do not attack that goblin base. Run away. Run away from the goblin base. We are not killing their chief. We can, however, go kill those guys. Because I think that's a totally separate... No, 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 no. They are going and attacking something again. Run down here. Run down this way. Do not kill that goblin chief. And kill these guys. So there we go. These little goblins can die. The other ones, unfortunately, have to stay. A traitor approaches. Wooden swords for... Garden lanterns? Nah, we good. We don't need any of that. We, we, we're fine. Totally fine as is. Daily updates coming in. That food is getting ridiculous. We'll turn it down though. Uh, why can you guys not continue the mining? Do we need, uh, do we need another ladder? I think we need another ladder just there. And that'll probably let people down to, uh, yep, there we go. Continue the mining. So there we go. Hopefully that will get that mining task done so we can take out that last layer. Obviously we do have a lot of the stone chests getting made as well. And I am actually wondering what the carpenter's doing currently. Carpenter's working on lanterns, working on beds, working on doors. We do need to get some materials for those reinforced doors that we want. We need to get some... And that's, yep, iron ore. So we're going to have a bit of work to do. We're going to have a little bit of work to do. We have some uh, we have some digging to continue with. Really? You're going to leave that one block? There we go. So yeah, we'll get rid of that ladder there. And I guess at this point, we can go ahead and say continue the digging. And just take out all of that as well. And that right there is quite the pit. 
And we can totally turn this into something at some point. Like, if we really, really wanted to, we could absolutely, you know, dig out a couple of layers here and just build, like, a massive vault-style kind of bunker thing underneath this big uh, rectangle. That is totally something we could do. It's totally something I'm tempted to do as well. But I don't know. I don't know if we need to, is, uh, is what I'm thinking. Because we have all these buildings and... Eventually, we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff with it. I think what I will do though is I'm gonna move the town banner. So the banner is gonna go into this space there, and I think that'll be I think that'll be a good space for it because that means that when the banner's there, all of the hearthlings will hide upstairs in that building, which eventually will have a reinforced door. Obviously, it doesn't have it yet, but. In time, there will be a reinforced door, or two of them, on that building. So it'll be relatively safe, is, is what I'm saying. Should be relatively safe, anyway. Uh, anyway, the mining's going ahead. The fences are done on that. Construction on this building still isn't done, though. I'm really confused about why that is. We might have to cheat and uh, insta-build this. Which I think we will possibly do. If I can remember how to bring the console up. So if I type IB in the console and we go to that one, that didn't actually insta build the building. I think we might have to do it again. There we go. So that building's not done. I don't like cheating in this game. I don't have any intention on, you know, persisting with cheating. Uh oh, hello. But that building was was bugged. They weren't doing anything with it, even with the resources being available, so. I figure insta-building it means at least we can do it. There's alert mode on. Alert mode's actually a really bad idea because the goblins are coming for that uh, that little spot there. So let's see if we can just wipe out the goblins here. There's actually quite a few of them going for our stuff. And they're dead. All right. Not bad at all. Trader approaches. Bird baths for giant bone axe. Now we good. We good. And we also got this building up, which I think means we could probably bring in a 19th Hearthling. I'm definitely thinking a 19th Hearthling could be, uh, could be nice. Could definitely be nice. So daily update. Let's go ahead and do it. Noel Quest. They all have the same surname. What are you good at there, bud? Uh, Spirit. Okay. His body stat's not very good, but at least, you know, he's got high spirits. So we've got that going for us. Uh, I'll tell you what I really want to do. I really, I really want to get some, uh, I really want to get a blacksmith. So I'm thinking we either have to go over to the mountains here and do some digging there. Or we have to dig down significantly farther in uh, the dirt here. And I'm thinking that this one, right, like, I'm thinking the, the digging down here is probably going to be the better bet at this point. So, I mean, I guess that's what we do. Also, I mean, you're, you're stuck. You need food. And it does look like no one's interested in mining anymore. Yeah, it looks like they've given up on the mining. So I guess we're going to have to do a ladder there. There we go. So they can get done and sort of at least try to continue the mining. You're mining out that part, really? There we go. So you can mine that out. Which might free up some land for uh, for Leafy to get out of there. Yeah, there we go. So Leafy can knock it out. We'll go ahead and just get rid of that ladder since we don't need it anymore. And I guess... Like I said, we just need to go further down. We just need to, um... We need to get iron. We need to get gold. We need to get more resources. Because right now, all we're getting is, uh... A bunch of clay and a bunch of stone. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm happy about. I do enjoy those materials. They're pretty good for, uh, construction. And once we get a potter, we can, uh, do some fun things with it. But... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we turn our mason into a potter. And... Get a new mason, because I think that's what you have to do. I think your mason is the only person that is qualified to be a potter. So yeah, if we get a potter's cutter, 
our mason can become a potter. Which might very well be an idea. What I think I will do, though, is say that we do need to make... Oh, we can get a trapper's knife as well. Absolutely get a trapper's knife. Then another uh, potter's cutter, because I think we gave one of ours away. Oh, hello. That's a bit rough looking. Uh, red team, before they decide to attack us, can you go and start killing them? Because those things will hurt. Those things will... Yeah, those things, they hurt. So that little one's nearly dead. Focus on that one. Then focus on that one. Then focus on that one. And then the big one. And then invaders approaching. Tell me it's that. It is that. Okay. Alright, this thing is taking a beating. We are low on health. Oh dear. Come on. Come on. It's nearly dead. There we go. And I focus the zombie. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. All right. I think, er yeah, everybody is alive. They're all hurt quite badly, but they are alive. Good Lord. That could have been really bad. That, that could have been really, really bad. Uh, tell you what we're going to do, though. We're going to change up our mining methods here. Um, I'm going to say that we want to build a ladder just there. And I'm going to say that we want to mine that out completely. Because what I want to do is I want to start going down in sort of like a staircase pattern. A goblin raiding party, really. Uh, we don't need alert mode. I don't know why I did that. But red team does need to come over and deal with these guys. Which is apparently being done fairly quickly. So that's nice. They'll be dealt with really quickly. Uh, that's already gone. So let's tear out that ladder and that one as well. And then let's say... Well, close that for one and mine that out. So there we go. That ladder can go away. The other ladder needs to go away as well. Which apparently is going to be tricky to do because they've decided to mine things out before getting rid of the ladder. So we now have a floating ladder. Which is great. Uh, Norm has wares to sell. Let's just sell all of the benches. Just like so. And that should get us some good money if we have a little look at the makers thing. Yeah, gold on hand, good. Almost got a good bit of gold via trade. We haven't spent that much, though. Can I build a ladder up to a ladder? I can. So we're going to have to build a ladder to get to the ladder. And then remove the ladder that we're using to get to that ladder. It's really complicated down here. Shouldn't need to be. But apparently this is just the way we're doing things. Uh, daily updates here. You know what? We're going to take... We're going to take number 20. There we go. Can someone now remove that ladder for me? Thank you. And then remove that one as well. And then what we're going to do... Is we are going to go block by block... Mining, you know each level out. So we're not going to need ladders anymore. So that ladder goes, and what we do is we zoom out a little bit, and we go to here, and we're basically just going to mine all of that space out. That entire top layer is going to go, and then the layer below it, uh, but we're going to leave one, so it's going to look like a staircase. I don't know why I want to do this. I just figure, why not, you know? We might as well, you know, have some kind of staircase looking thing. It means we don't need ladders and it means people aren't going to get stuck. So it seems like it would be a good option. I'm also thinking, is the blacksmith done with the crafting stuff? He's done with the trapper's knife, which means we can go to... I think one of our farmers changed their job up to be... Oh, they can just be a trapper off the bat. Well, that's good. So someone with high spirit, I think. We null quests. You have an animal companion, so let's change your job out. You are going to be a trapper. So congratulations, bud. You're now a trapper. 
And as for that lair, it's uh, coming away really nicely. And I think what we can also go ahead and do once the trapper is there is we can actually get their uh, their working grinds. And uh, unfortunately, their working grind is going to be a bit weird. But I think what we can do is go to there. And that almost spaces out, spaces out perfectly. It doesn't look like I'm ever going to get this to be 100% perfect, though. I don't think I can get it central unless we do 49 by 49, which I guess we'll do. We'll do 49 that way and 49 that way. So just one giant trapper's area. And we'll see what we get out of it. I think that'll work. Uh, let's have a look here, though. This is, That layer is gone, so let's go in for another layer. Just like that. And we'll continue along, and eventually, hopefully, we can uh, find some stone down there. It does look like we're just going to have to keep going, though, until we hit stone. But that's all right. We'll make it work. As for the trapper, he's finally setting some traps out. So hopefully we'll get some animals. We'll get some meat in here. Uh, we are going to want to get a whole bunch of picket fences again. Just to ni nicely uh, outline that space, if possible. Although I don't know if it will be. The measurements might be a bit weird, but we'll see. We'll see. Four bird baths for a giant bone axe. Nope. They keep offering the same stuff, and I just keep saying, no, I don't want it. I don't want the giant bone axe. We don't need it. You guys are just idle, really? Goblin raiding party. Interesting. Red team. Let's have you do your thing. Get over here. There we go. So, red team can do what they need to do. You guys are actually done with that layer as well. So, let's go for another one. Just mine all of that. And all of that. There we go. Still apparently no closer to stone, though. That's great. That's that's just excellent. Oh, well. It's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it there for today. I think we're doing all right. We're slowly going deeper and deeper into the earth. Hopefully, we can eventually... Hit some stone to get some uh, some gold, some iron, all that kind of stuff. Wait, is that the goblin chief there? Is that... That is actually the... Go yeah, that is the goblin chief. Just stood outside of our town. Well, that's bad. That's that's really bad. Because if, if he attacks and we kill him, it's going to be war. Like, and, and not good war. Not the war we have right now. The war we have right now is the good war. We don't want the bad war. Because the bad war, we are not prepared for. We we don't have good weapons. You know, we, we, can, we can deal with these little attacks from time to time, but we do not have good weapons. We do not have armor. So things will go very bad if that goblin chief happens to die. So we're probably going to want to keep an eye on him. Oh, wait, did he go back to his camp? Did he go back to his camp? Where did the goblin... Ch oh, no. There he is. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Why are you... Is this your new little camp? I hope so. If he dies to literally anything, we have a problem. You know, that that's the issue here. If he if anything kills him, then we're done. So hopefully he does all right. I guess that's his new camp. Which I mean, okay, but I don't know. Why have we still got combat music? Oh, that's why. All right, Rad Team, go deal with it. If there's anything in our time that doesn't need to be there, it needs to die. There we go, job done. So you guys are nearly done with that layer as well. Let's just go ahead and mark up one more layer and then we'll call it there for today. So that layer and up to that point as well. Please give me some stone beneath that one. Nope. 
No more stone yet. All right. I mean, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. I think things are going all right. We have a trapper. We're going to be working towards getting a, uh, a shepherd. And then we'll have a regular supply of, uh, of animals and all that kind of stuff. We are going to need more picket fences to go around the trapper's thing there, though. Which I imagine is going to be a nightmare to do, but we'll do it nonetheless. Uh, we do need to get, I think, a few more buildings up. I think that would be nice. We could also probably do with another... We're actually getting the potter going as well. I forgot to do that. So we'll change your job out. You are going to become a potter. Which means we now need someone that can be a mason. So, he's not a level 1 potter. Who is good with... Let's see here. Their mind. Leafy Bell Tower. Congratulations, you are now the mason. And we're going to go ahead and queue up the mason to basically make a bunch of things so that we can get a bunch of money. So make me like, again, 50 stone benches that will level you up and also get us money. As for the potter, I guess make the kiln and make the wheel. And then when that's done, what can you make? I mean, you, you could make some, some chairs, I guess. Just some chairs, make some, actually make some bricks. We'll say maintain like 50 clay bricks. That way we can start building out of, uh, out of clay. A goblin sneaks into camp, really? Oh no. Oh, are they attacking with the... Do not kill him! Do not kill that chief! Go kill those ones. Oh, I'm glad I watched that. Kill that one. All right. And then run away. Just run away. We do not need to kill that goblin chief. Right. All right. That, that could have been rough. That could have been rough. We are not going to war. We are, we are not going to war. It is not happening. So alert mode off. We have the potter making their stuff, I think. I want to place it before we wrap things up. Otherwise, I'll forget to do it. Uh, so the potter stuff is... That's the kiln. So we'll place the kiln there. And then the potter also needs to make their table thing. Whatever that happens to be. Really? Come on, man. Go kill that. And let's see. Potter's other thing. Is it done? That's it there, the pottery wheel. So there we go. What are you guys doing? Are oh, you killing that thing? Okay. As long as it's not like... As long as it's not the chief, I don't care what they kill. Now let's have a look at the potter and see... So you're working on the bricks. You could work on all that stuff as well. But I'm wondering, do we have a design? No, we don't actually have a pottery house either. Well, that's fine. That's totally fine. We have the potter doing their thing. We have the pit coming along nicely over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think for the third time, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. So thank you kind of for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.